All right, so it's Mr. Robs here. And Mr. Kravis. And we're here to talk about simultaneous equations using this method called substitution. And what simultaneous equations are just equations like with x and y usually, and maybe something like y equals minus 3x plus 2. It takes equations like this, and we're trying to find an x and a y value that's true in both of those. And so I know these are lines, right? And so they could be lines. This point of intersection, that's the point where this x value is the same as this x value, and the y value is the same as this y value. And we want to find out when that's true. So let's take an example. i look at an example of how to do this. All right, Ryan, you can stop that now. So look at an example. I have my two lines as such. What should I do there, Mr. Kerbis? Well, we can see that the top one is in the form y equals, mm -hmm. and the bottom one is a little bit more uh, messy, busy. So what you can do is you can take 2x plus 5. So that's y, yep. And you can put it in instead of y. So you make the substitution of 2x plus 5 into where the y was. So here is my y value. Here is y here. 2x plus 5. And then once I have that, what do I do? So now you need it to be negative 10. Now oh, what you, you have is uh, you have an equation where you have one thing that you don't know. So you've converted a, a more difficult math problem into something easier. And now you simply expand the brackets. Mm -hmm. Minus 20 equals negative 10. And solve for x. And mm -hmm. Very often in math, we're just taking one step to turn a problem that we don't know how to solve into a problem we do know how to solve. And that step today is substitution. Now that I have my x, am I all finished? No, because in this situation, we also need to solve for the value of y. This one. So if I take this x, which is negative 2, and plug it in for this x, then I can nice and easily find y. Why don't you put it into the other one? Well, I could put it into the other one, but this one's already set up really nice and easy for me. And I'll get this, I should get the same answer if I put it into the other one. And that will give me a nice way to check to see if I'm right. So now I do the computation. I get 4, negative 4, plus 5, which is 1. So y equals 1. And so my coordinate point, where, where these two equations are exactly equal, is when x is negative 2 and y is 1. And so if I check it, I can go 3 times negative 2 minus 4 times 1. Well, that's negative 6 minus 4. That is negative 10. So that's, ah, good. A, that's a nice way to do a check. Let's try another example. All right, so we have these two problems. Our scenario problem here is we don't have a nice y equal to. So what am I going to do? I don't know. Uh-oh, stop! <laughs> well, what I think we should do then is take this equation and rearrange it. Let's bring, let's add y to both sides. Ah, I and see. So, so I get 3x minus 2 is equal to y. And again, now I know this is y. This value here is y. So I'm going to take my y value and plug it into there, being careful of my minus sign. Hence the substitution, I'm going to substitute it in. So x minus, in parentheses, all of this is y. 3x subtract 2 plus 2 equals 0. And so now I get x minus 3x, careful the negative sign, plus 2, plus 2 more is 0. So negative 2x plus 4 equals 0. Negative 2x equals minus 4. And so then x is equal to 2. How do I get my y value then, Mr. Kerbis? We have, again, some choices. I would probably take the bottom equation, because in this case it looks a little bit neater, okay. a little bit, little bit cleaner, numbers a little bit smaller when we make our substitution. And I'm a bit lazy, so I like to pick easy things for myself. So I know that x, this x, is 2 minus y plus 2 equals 0. Well, that's minus y plus 4 is 0. I'm going to add y, so 4 is equal to y. And so my x, y, 
is equal to 2, 4. And if I take this and do a quick check, I go 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4, minus 2 more, that is 0 as well. So I've checked it and I know that I am good. But if it works in one equation, are you sure it works in both? Well, it's supposed to work in both. That's the whole point. It's gonna, if, if, we have, if it doesn't work in both, we've done something wrong. Simultaneous equations means the same x and y value makes this equation true and this equation true. Perfect. One more example to try. Ooh, that one doesn't look very nice. Well, I got negatives, I got all these crazy coefficients. In the previous example, I had some nice looking y values here. Right? I had just a 1 and a 1, so it was really nice to substitute. In our new example, there's no 1 y's or 1 x's, so it's a little tricky. But one thing I do notice, what do you notice about 6, 6, and negative 2? They are all even numbers. Okay, so if I divide everything by negative 2, so negative 2 divided by negative 2, or here's another uh, plus 6 over negative 2y is equal to 6 over negative 2. This gives me x minus 3y equals minus 3. Now I have a single x. I'm going to solve for x, which is minus 3y. Nope. Plus 3y? Minus 3 plus a 3y. Now that I have this value here, what am I going to do with this x? Now we've got to substitute it into the second equation, but at least we don't have any crazy fractions now. Right. So I get negative 7. My x value is minus 3 plus 3y. That's what x equals. Plus 8y equals minus 5. So again, distribute. So I get 21 minus 21y plus 8y is equal to negative 5. 21 minus, uh-oh, 13y <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> equals minus 5. And I'm going to subtract my 21. So minus 13y equals negative 26. Divide by negative 13, and I get 2 for my y value. Now that I have y, I can plug it into here to find my x value. So then x equals minus 3 plus 3. y is 2. And so x equals minus 3 plus 6, which is now 3. So I have my x, y value. The coordinate is 3, 2. Excellent. OK. And so that 3, 2 will satisfy this equation and this equation will make the both things true. Perfect. Oh, now we need her to record it.